YouTubers, how's it going? Scott here from scottsbasslessons.com and I'm coming at you with another lesson here in Brooklyn, New York. Um, today we've actually got um, Evan Marion with us, who is a monstrous bass player. If you've not heard him before, you've got to check out his stuff. He's phenomenally talented. In fact, I'll show you a clip of him right now. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, Evan knows his stuff. And, and Rich, like if you listen to Evan and then you listen to Rich, that last week we uh, released a lesson with Rich Brown in as well, they're using a lot of pentatonic kind of runs within their, uh, within their, their bass lines or within their solo, within their improvising. And that's what I thought I'd talk about today because I think that everybody or a lot of you guys will know this. that pentatonic shape, you know, that blues shape. But did you know there are five really specific pentatonic shapes that you can learn to help you map out the entire fretboard with just one pentatonic, right? So if it was C. That. It's like, these are just strict pentatonic patterns, but hopefully after you watch this lesson, you're gonna get it into your playing so you can use these pentatonics all over the fingerboard and not just in that, you know, that safe space. I'm in my safe space. Not in the safe space. I want you to use it all over the neck and feel really confident when you're doing so. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this lesson. And also this cool double doubling up thing where you can double notes within one pentatonic. Um, Rich Brown, who we talked to last week and was recording a course in the studio with us for scottsbasslessons.com, he was talking about this. So I get... Yeah, yeah, that double is crazy sounding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like, like that's just some general stuff. Right? Really? Oh. Like, <laughs> I love Come on. Evan also does it as well. In fact, let's show a clip of Evan doing it right now. So that was Evan doing the same thing, and essentially they're doubling up. They're double notes within one pentatonic. It's super cool. It's a really great, uh, fun improvisational technique to use. You can get some cool lines. We're also going to be looking at that today. Now, before we get into this week's lesson, I'm just going to nip down the studio. We're recording with Evan today. He's bringing in uh, Devon. He's what, wait till you hear this drummer. He plays with Richard Bonner, right? So he's bringing in his killing drummer, great keys player as well. They're going to be doing some stuff as a trio. And then we're going to come back to the apartment and get stuck into the, this lesson. So, uh, let's do this. What does teamwork do? I think you'll find it makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Evan's mind. I'm gonna get this camera. This camera is awesome. I've got 
little Skype the kids. Are you eating some refreshers? And some refresher bonbons. What's a refresher bonbon? Show me. This. Let me see what it looks like. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Okay, what a wicked day. Um, again, huge thanks to Evan for coming down and uh, and just beasting us all. Okay, so let's talk about pentatonics. As I said at the beginning of this lesson, everybody knows the same, that pentatonic scale, you know. But what about expanding it over the entire fingerboard, okay? Let's do this. And we're going to be doing it in C minor. So the C minor pentatonic, the scale that you probably use is just a minor pentatonic or minor blues scale, right? But we're going to be systematically learning it over the neck so you understand the five main patterns that you can use to master the pentatonic over the entire fingerboard, okay? So the first pattern for the C minor starts down here, okay? And it actually, and remember, these all these 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 don't start on the root, okay? They can start on the root, but we want to be taking them from the lowest note possible. So what I really like doing is first of all playing it from the root, and then playing the entire thing within that position, okay? So this first position is first thing on the on the uh, on the root. Okay, so root, minor third, in fourth, fifth, seventh, and then the octave. So just get used to how that feels in that area, but then we need to put the G in and the B flat in. We put the G and the B flat in because G's there, and it's there. Okay, so it has to be in a lower octave as well. So that is the first position, okay, of the C minor. Oh, that's what I think of it as, okay. position next position little finger on the C let's play the uh, let's play the pentatonic first just just the pentatonic you know one octave okay so root minor third fourth five flat seven root now let's add in the B flat down here and the E flat up here so we get a full, you know, all of the notes within this position. Okay. We've got the one hit down here. We've got this one. Now it's time to move to the next one. C here. Play the, the one octave version first. Same as this, right? But then we might just put the on top. Okay, all within that one position.
position. Next position, the C is here. One, two, three, four. So uh, root minor third, fourth, fifth. The seventh is up there, but let's miss it out because it's not within this position that we're working on here. Then let's move down. And if you notice, guys, none of these have a bigger stretch than four frets. Okay, so that's that next one. So it actually starts on the minor third, minor third, fourth, fifth, flat seven, root, minor third, fourth, fifth. Okay, then we've got, again, the last one. So let's just go through them. Here's the first one. One. Two. I'm going to play them slower, don't worry. Three. So that's the fifth one. So we're starting on the fourth, fourth, uh, fourth, fifth, flat seven, root, minor third, fourth, fifth, flat seven. Okay, so that's the five main pentatonic shapes. They're really strict, uh, they never go out of that four fret zone. Okay, There's, it's always only a four fret stretch, it's never outside of that, which is great. Okay. like you know go up and down them you can run them like this to start with um, but then after that try and go up one down the next Exercise that up one down the other. Okay, up one down the other, and then you can just try and groove out and just improvise with it. stuck a few juicy notes in there we're going to get to that in a minute so that's the five main patterns take your time get them down it will be worth its weight in gold now last but not least let me show you this cool thing that i've seen evan and rich doing i've seen other guys doing it but i think it's just because i've been hanging out with those guys um that it's really apparent what they're doing this is so cool right so let's take um an f major and Rich was saying that he got this from Zawinul, Joe Zawinul, fantastic key player. Um, weather Report, right? You know, he was the guy behind Weather Report. So what Rich was saying is that he can double up on the third and the sixth of any major pentatonic. So there we've got an F major pentatonic, right? So instead of playing... already know all your pentatonics all over the board because you've done the five the five patterns right you take an F major pentatonic and you double up the third and the fifth by doing this okay and again so 
slowly. Third, third. Six, six. Third, third. So you might be wondering why, well, why do you double up notes? Well, it's because you can create cool lines like that. And that's why they're doing it, so they can get these, these unison notes. I can't do it for toffee, but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm, I'm shedding it, I'm shedding it, but maybe you guys can do it a little better than I can, and then you can shoot me a video and say, hey Scott, um, I saw Rich and Evan doing this, and you were showing us the thing, and then I got it into my plane, and check this out, okay? So hopefully you will be sending me a video doing that. Anyway guys, as always, uh, thanks for watching uh, the video today, the lesson. Um, it'd be wicked if you go and check out scottsbasslessons.com, which is what I do. Um, I run the, uh, the 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 biggest and the coolest online bass school for bass players in the world, and uh, and that's why I'm out here in Brooklyn creating courses for that for the membership over at scottsbasslessons.com uh, with some of the best bass players in the world uh, for you guys. So hopefully you'll go check it out. You can grab a 14-day free trial as well. I'll stick the I'll stick the bits down below so you can get the link. And other than that, subscribe to the channel, guys. And as always, I'll see ya in the shed. Goodbye. The 2015 Kickstarter Challenge. Hey everybody. Hey. Hey everybody. Hi everybody. Hello all. Hello.